Hi, this is Ksenia, and we're looking into the secrets of creativity in jazz dancing. Right now, we're going to talk about a wonderful concept that I got inspired from music, uh, and the concept is called pillow. Pillow is something fluffy, warm, nice, cozy, something we all love to and we're not afraid of. So pillow is a repetitive phrase, something that in music is called riff. It's the repetitive phrase that you continuously dance and then take off from it and do some improvisation. And uh, I'm very privileged to have here an amazing musician, pianist from Cork, where we are actually right now, Cormac McCarthy. <laughs> And he's here to help us to practice pillow and to talk about pillow and to talk about riff, something that I got inspired from. So, Cormac, hello. Hey, Ksenia. How are you? Good, how are you doing? <laughs> what is riff? Well, I guess a riff is like a short musical phrase, mm -hmm. um, most commonly found in kind of rock, pop, and in jazz also. Mm -hmm. um, and it's usually repeated, and it often forms the basis of mm -hmm. the song or the tune. And um, it's also... A vehicle from which creativity can can stem. I guess. Totally, I heard it for the first time at Count Basie Tunes, isn't it? And it was, uh, it was this powerful thing that drove the the horn section to improvise. That sometimes is used in music. Absolutely, mm -hmm. and I think when anything is repetitive, mm -hmm. um, it kind of respire, it, it inspires a sort of mantra effect, and totally. it can really um, get people going on. Totally. On Would you mind demonstrating to us yeah. what what riff can be? So, I mean, if I was to take just a generic kind of funk type mm -hmm. riff, it could be like... Mm -hmm. You can hear that that's just repeated. Mm -hmm. you know? Something like that in swing, maybe? In Is swing, this... yeah. So in swing, you might have something like... so. And so how would you use it or would you use it maybe for teaching, improvisation, or for practicing, or during improvisation on stage when you play a tune? Well, I guess one, one way you can use it to practice is because it's repeated and you don't have to worry so much about you know, bringing in new content as you play. Mm -hmm. It's good for practicing your rhythm and your time. Mm -hmm. um, and then you can start to, because the riff, if you take my first riff again, yeah. so I think it was... Gaps. Yeah. And again, it can start up, often you practice it with a met metronome. Yes. Um, and then you can just start to expand further and further. So by the end, you might be. Great. You know, so you can deviate further and further mm -hmm. from the, the original. Great. Thank you so much. Okay, guys. So now we're going to take this idea and transfer it into the dance world. So I figured for myself that the easiest thing would be to create one bar of a pillow and one bar to take off for improvisation. It's not that scary. You only have one, two, three, four to do something, even if it's just a step. It's great. Wherever, yeah? So you can just go with it, with your feeling. Where do you want to make this movement? Uh, pillow can be absolutely anything, any step you like, any step that makes you feel good, any step that you know so well. My favorite step lately is a crossover. Wagida, 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 wagida. You can look into the paragraph of crossovers to figure out how to do that. Or it could be as well cross behind. Wagida, wagida, wagida. As well, it could be this step. Wagida, wagida, wagida. So pretty much, as you see, it's the rhythm mostly, yeah, and then three options of steps around it. So it's going to work like this. Take a look. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. So as you see, only two bars for you to improvise, pillow, and then whatever step you know, you like, or comes up to your mind. And Cormac is gonna be here with us 
to try to do that, to help us. Uh, it's a super exclusive uh, thing, because you rarely have a musician in your room to play a pillow for you, but we have this option, and I'm gonna give you time and opportunity to do that just with Cormac by itself, but we're gonna try right now together to do that. So Cormac is gonna play two bars, and then I'm gonna dance two bars. Maybe I'm gonna copy Cormac, maybe Cormac's gonna copy me, maybe we just get inspired from whatever we're doing and see what the magic is gonna happen.